Moving to the cultural sphere, local and international Maroon communities gathered at Queen's Hall on Wednesday for an Mbangi ceremony that showcased their rich cultural legacy through artistic performances and cultural exchanges. Maroons are the descendants of self-liberated Africans. The Mbangi ceremony is part of the larger indigenous Maroon gathering connecting the group. Poet and cultural advocate Dr. N2 Pearl Springer drove home how a lack of cultural identity can foster apathy and crime. The legacy of our first peoples, of our African peoples, that legacy is not established, is not recognized in the school system. Most of the young people we deal with do not know what is the date of emancipation? I sometimes wonder why anybody is surprised that young black men are killing each other. What do they have to lose? Communications professional and cultural worker Attila Springer said that a deeper knowledge of pre-colonial history does not negate the cultural traditions that formed later. The word Kambule, K-M-B-U-L-E, is a Kikongo word meaning procession. So we see these two ideas coming together. The Kambule, that is paying homage and reverence to the horrors of enslavement and remembering the horrors of enslavement and promising that they would never come again. And the Kambule, which is the procession to exorcise the negativity of that time. Guiding by the theme envisioning a connected Maroon diaspora and a reparative future, the second Indigenous Maroon Gathering and Academic Conference continues at Cruzen Hotel until November 9th.